If you're trying to figure out how to keep grilling and smoking in these frigid wintertime temperatures, this is the video for you. Hey guys, this is Steve from Cookout Coach, where we're all about trying to help you take your barbecue to the next level. Now if that sounds like something you might need in your life, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Today, we're gonna to talk about how to keep grilling and smoking in these cold temperatures. A lot of people think that once the warm temperatures of summer are gone and those football tailgates are over in fall, that it's time to put away the grills. But I'm here to tell you, that doesn't necessarily have to be the case. To continue grilling or smoking in these wintertime temperatures, there's really only one rule you need to remember, and that is, your fuel consumption is going to be a little bit more now to enjoy the same experience that you had in summertime. Because the ambient air temperature is now so much colder, that cold air is going to be trying to absorb the heat off of your cooker and because of that, you're going to go through more charcoal, wood, or pellets. This effect can all be minimized with just a little bit of planning. My favorite solution to this problem is to use the right tool for the job. For me, that's my Char Griller Acorn Kamado. This is a cooker that's known for being hyper efficient. Now, any of your other Kamados will be efficient as well. Any insulated cookers you have are gonna do the best job combating those cold temperatures. Because of the insulation and the gasket seals on this Acorn, it takes longer for the heat to get to the outside skin. Once the heat radiates to the outside, that's when the wind can pull that heat off of your cooker. So while the egg corn will burn some more fuel in this temperature, I personally have cooked over an 8 hour pork butt in negative 3 degree temperatures on this Kamado. I'll put a link to that video right here. Now if you have a grill that resembles something more like this Weber kettle, thin steel construction, maybe a cheap offset smoker, you can still cook in the winter. But there are generally three things I recommend to people. The first is try to put your cooker somewhere that you can block the wind off of it. Now this is maybe one side of the house or garage, that'd be perfect. The more wind you can stop from going over the surface of your cooker, the more heat you'll retain. The second is for things like Weber Smoky Mountains, cheap offset smokers, even your kettles. If you can get a non-flammable insulator and use it, that'll help a lot. Things like welding blankets or hot water insulation jackets work wonders specifically on the Weber Smoky Mountain and some offset smokers. Lastly, go into your cook just knowing that you're going to use more fuel than normal. Because of that, check your fuel situation a little more frequently. Be prepared to add more fuel during your cook. For instance, on this Weber, we've got hinged grates. Have those grates accessible, know that you're going to flip them up and put charcoal in them. At the end of the day, my message is this. If you want to go out and grill or smoke in the wintertime, absolutely do it. I do it and love it. But go into it with a game plan. Go into it knowing what you're up against. This was our second video in our From the Ground Up barbecue series that we're doing. I hope this helps all you trying to get out and cook this winter. As always, if you have any questions or comments about what you're trying to do, hey, hit me up on one of my social medias in the description down below. But till next time, y'all take it easy.